Hello folks, welcome into another suitable signings video for FIFA 23. I'm Ash or Brom 18, whichever you prefer. In this video today, we are continuing this series and we switch our focus onto target men. I want to give you guys the best target man strikers to sign in FIFA 23. We've already done box to box midfielders, we've already done false nine strikers, so do go and check those ones out and there's a whole host of other videos in this series to come as well. So keep an eye and make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload one of them. With that being said, let's get into the video. So first things first, we're going to go quickly and break down these ratings. For those of you who are new to this series, what we do is we break this into three categories. We have players rated between 60 and 74, we have 75 to 82 and we have 83 plus and this is just so you can kind of tailor it to whatever your requirements are let's say you have a, a road to glory or a lower league career mode for example you've got some lower rated players in here maybe you're looking for a kind of lower rated team on seasons anything like that um you know we have all sorts of areas here so do uh, bear that one in mind as well let's have a look at the required traits first there are multiple required traits that we're looking at for target men and these have been kind of fine-tuned and worked to a specific uh, kind of data requirement so to make sure that we do get the best target men in the game first one is heading very naturally you don't need me to explain that too much but it's also both bearing in mind that a target man is not just the kind of player who obviously you are going to be kind of crossing lots of balls into and hoping they kind of get on the end of them also someone you're looking to kind of get on the end of long balls hold the ball up bring other players into play that is also the role of a target man it's not just a case of let's stick a tall man up front uh spoiler alert they don't need to be tall uh, and then just cross balls into them there's a lot more to the role than that uh, we also look for jumping now this is where we talk about height height does not matter if he is five foot eight for example and you're coming up against someone who's six foot five but the six foot five player has you know 30 jumping of which some do and the five foot nine player has 90 jumping he gets favored the height doesn't make that much of a difference it's the jumping that's really going to allow you to kind of get the best out of them because ultimately they're going to be able to reach the ball better they're going to have actually much more aerial um kind of reach i guess compared to if they are just tall so it's very important that you bear this one in mind height doesn't factor into it that much other than real extremes we also have strength what we're looking for here is obviously so that they can body shield the ball body people off the ball and that's really what they're looking to do as a target man you want them to kind of be able to hold the ball up to win those one-on-one -on -one duels that they're going to have with defenders and that's really where strength is going to come into it as well on top of that we have ball control as you kind of alluded to already when you do want to kind of play the ball to them they're going to be able to have to hold the ball up and as a result you want them to have good ball control to make sure the touch isn't going too far away their first touch etc doesn't kind of help mean that they lose the ball and there's those sort of elements that you are going to have to consider as well it's important that we're not just talking about a target man who can kind of win those aerial duels also what can they do with the ball at their feet and how good is their control on top of that we're looking for short passing again the reason being is that you're looking to kind of bring other players into play with a target man as well not just win those aerial duels and with that you're naturally going to need short passing it's best with a target man to pair them with players mobile players wingers and of a striker perhaps an attacking midfielder you can get in and around them and they can really just lay it off to them and that's why we are looking for short passing and then finally we want positioning this is going to enable you to really get the best out of them in terms of not just where they are in a box do they pick up space but also when you're building the ball up through the thirds for example you're going to find them trying to kind of peel off the defenders more all that sort of thing try and pick up space and that's going to be really really important for a target man as well so then it's time to reveal what you have been waiting for we start off with the 60 to 74 overall rating section remember the overall rating doesn't matter at all really we are looking for the individual attributes and traits that we have already identified so first things first we start off with Lasina Traore of course at Shakhtar Donetsk 74 overall and 84 potential 21 years of age from Burkina Faso six foot so a very kind of complete forward not just a target man has a real um kind of all-rounded nature to his game and at 21 you've got a player who you can really kind of mold and develop and grow and that's going to be a really, really good sign. Definitely one of the hidden gems within this list. Next up, we have Grajan Kiai, 69 overall and 70 potential. At 27 years of age, he's someone you're looking to kind of bring in right now. Really good for kind of those second division to third division teams. For example, you know, Serie B, Liga 2. Uh, and then you've got obviously kind of maybe League 1 
instead of the championship. I think you could definitely kind of get him in that division. Currently at Claremont Foot, he's in the French second tier, so that's the sort of level you are looking for. And at six foot two, um, you know, he has all the, the kind of makings as a target man. Next up on the list, we have Andreas Vogelsammer, of course, at Millwall, 30 years of age, 72 overall, 72 potential. Again, another one you're going to want to bring into the team right now. Really, really good. And as we spoke about already, the height doesn't matter. He's under six foot, but he's a very, very good target man. He's got all the right attributes for this, and he's absolutely one of the kind of peak players on this list with respect to his overall rating. And finally, we have Peter Musa, 74 overall and 81 potential. Some of you are probably going to know this guy. He's been kind of highly touted over the last few years, and he's still yet to really fulfill that potential, but he's only 24 still. So there is you know, a lot of room to grow there, as you can see. Uh, currently at Benfica, six foot three, a real more of an archetype target man more than anything. Um, and again, a player that you can really kind of mold into your own one. So let's move on to the 75 to 82 rating then. Starting off with Gianluca Scamacca, 80 overall and 86 potential. 23 years old at West Ham, six foot five, an absolute megalodon in all honesty, of a target man. A really, really good one. Potentially my favourite one on this list with regards to kind of the hidden nature and the kind of, I guess, below the hype levels that we're looking for here uh, because I think he's just really, really good. Um, and obviously, in, in real life, had a bit of a stop-start season at West Ham, but a Sassuolo, a very, very good player. And I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with him if you are looking for a target man. Next up, we have Afra Cabral, 77 overall and 83 potential. You'll notice quite a high Serie A kind of influence within the rest of this list because they really do make him the best uh, in Italy. They really do. He is actually from Brazil, plays for Fiorentina, 24 years of age, 6 foot 1, and in real life, definitely kind of cementing himself as the number one ahead of someone like Luka Jovic, for example. Next on the list, we have Sebastian Haller, 82 overall and 82 potential, 28 years of age, 6 foot 3 from Ivory Coast, and he is, of course, at Dortmund. Now, do bear in mind that a couple of players on this list will have just signed for their club this season, and so as a result, you'll have to wait until the next transfer window, which is obviously generally going to be about four to five months. Um, so it's something you obviously want to bear in mind as well, but if you are kind of looking for one, then you may need to be a little bit patient. Finally, we have Alexander Mitrovic. We couldn't have this list without him, could we? 79 overall and potential, but a very tremendous player. Absolutely. The fact that he's... This is why overall ratings doesn't matter, because ultimately, his attributes were some of the best on this list for a target man, but he's you know, only 79 overall. So ultimately, doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Obviously, at Fulham, 27 years of age, 6 foot 2, a real kind of archetypal target man. Um, and I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with him. Right then, into the Elite, guys. The 83 plus, the tier that you have all been waiting for. Probably a good time to mention that if you want to get access to lots of fantastic perks and rewards, you can get access to them on my Patreon. The links are down below. You On there, you can get access to exclusive FIFA 23 tactics videos that you'll only find on Patreon, as well as my tactics package with ratings and rankings and pros and weaknesses and suitable teams of players for every system we cover, as well as Discord server access, early access to some videos, some behind-the-scenes videos, fancy football league access, and a whole lot more. Lots of fantastic rewards. And a massive thank you to my patrons for keeping the channel going. You guys are the ones allowing me to justify really doing any content on this channel at all. And you guys are kind of keeping this alive. So a massive thank you to all of you wonderful wonderful patrons with that being said let's get into the 83 plus rated players starting off with this man victor ossiman 83 overall and 89 potential a god once again and you can bet that his rating is going to shoot up for the next kind of installment in the series 23 years of age obviously at napoli highly touted that you know he'll get his move but ultimately should be loving it in napoli right now um and he's just so fun to play with the absolute quintessential complete forward not just a target man. He could really play a, a multitude of different striking roles. So he really is just an absolute beast. Next up, we have got Lotaro Martinez. And this is what I was alluding to earlier. Five foot nine, you're thinking, that guy, there is no way he can be a target man. He really can. He was actually the first one that showed up on this list with regards to kind of the data input. And he actually required the least amount of, I guess, wiggle room because he's attributes lend itself to that more than anyone else on this list 86 overall 90 potential just tremendous strength 
jumping, ball control, everything, everything you want from a target man, he has in abundance. And this is why height absolutely does not matter. And he should be probably number one on your list. Next up, we have Robert Lewandowski, of course, an older option, only just signed for Barcelona, so you will have to wait a few months, but 91 overall and 91 potential. He was pretty similar to Martinez in that he didn't require much much wriggle room, really, and nor would you expect so with that 91 overall rating. Obviously, at 34, he's a type of player who, if you are going to sign him, you're looking for someone to make that impact right here, right now. Um, so do just bear that one in mind as well. And then finally, we have Duvan Zapata, another one who is, of course, in his 30s, but again, a lot cheaper than what you would get someone like Lewandowski or Martinez or Ossiman for. So he's a more of a budget option, but a very good one. And he's ready to contribute right here, right now at Atalanta currently. And from Colombia, 6 foot 2, 83 overall and 83 potential as well. And so with that being said, we are just about ready to round it off there. If you think there is anyone on this list who I may have left out, you would like to see added, make sure to get your suggestions down below. And if you have enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. Drop a like on the video to let me know you're enjoying it. Don't forget to give me a follow on Twitter. The link is in the description down below. And most of all, check out my Patreon, a fantastic way to support the channel and get some brilliant perks in return. With that being said, we are just about ready to round it off there. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And until the next one, I will see you soon.